when you interviewed him on the field during the All-Star game last year. You, you, tell, you guys have a little little relationship. You know, great guy, obviously. Um, you, you know, this guy is a Mike Sosha type of player, Frank. When you think about him, it reminds me a little bit of Gary DeSarcina, who, of course, was a longtime shortstop for the Angels. Sure but with a little bit more power. And I like his development. He was an all-star last mm -hmm. year. Keep an eye on this young man. He may be an all-star again. Hey, the fact that they get him and, and, you know, listen, he was going to come over and play second base, and right. then all of a sudden Billy Epler swung the trade for Kinsler, and he calls him. He's like, hey, how about third? And, of course, it's like, cool, you got to give him credit for that. And I remember he was very appreciative of making an all-star team for the first time last year. You interviewed him on the field. Uh, Eric Carroll said that was his favorite player on the Cincinnati Reds, and I'll be dang, he's, he's a great player. That's he's cool. proven to be a lot better than I thought he was. And give an assist to Billy Epler, Artie Moreno. They've done a fantastic job in a short period of time of reconfiguring and architecting this team. This team looks pretty darn good. Uh, they're off to a nice start. And you think about it, to your point, Justin Upton, they re-signed him early. Keep him in the fray after they got him late last year. Obviously, Kozar, Kinsler. And no then... Kinsler so far. Hmm? This is going to be a great lineup by midsummer. We're missing, Kinsler coming back. missing one person. That would be Shohei Otani. Oh. In case you're unfamiliar with him, that's right. The, the modern-day Babe Ruth is calling him. He got a win on the mound <laughs> on Sunday. He homered in his Angels debut at home yesterday. And then today, Frank, two more hits. He's got a hit off the closer, Cody Allen. He hits a home run off of Kluber, dead central. What are you liking about this guy? What right happened, now? KB? Last week, everybody wanted to send him to the Miners. <laughs> this guy's hitting 429, two home runs in his first six baseball games. Amazing. I knew all the scouts couldn't be wrong. He was all the hype this offseason about this guy being like a Babe Ruth type. I thought it was crazy, but what I've seen so far, I really like this young man, and he's 23 years old. You know, he's making a mockery of the greatest league in the world. I mean, someone has to tell him that he's not in Newport High School playing. I mean, he's yes. making the league look like high school. Mm -hmm. and, and this is an amazing story, but the folks at home, to understand how difficult it is to hit at this level and also to pitch and be able to dominate. It is something like I've never seen But before. what's going to How about routine? Give me a little sense of, so they're on a six-man rotation right now, so it's a little bit more spaced out. He's playing in, in the middle of that. So, Frank, you pointed out he's not playing the day before or the day after a start. Mm -hmm. But, Alex, how about his routine here and what exactly he has to balance to kind of pull this off? Yeah, there's a lot of moving parts right now, Kevin. And what you're seeing right now, the Angels are hoping to collect a lot of data. And what I mean by that is they have a guy who they want to see how he pitches, they want to praise how he hits. But right now, there's a little bit of a honeymoon period. This is really going to get interesting in August. What happens the first time he gets a little bit of a sore elbow? He's going to have to do all the stuff that pitchers have to do, the integrity work, the work with the trainer, the squats, the long toss, and also maintain a great swing. That's when I think it gets a little bit more challenging. You think he'll last, Frank? Will, will, will it catch up to him doing both? Well, here? the only thing I want to see is the days he pitches. I want to see him hit those days, too, because if he hit like this, it's going to be hard to keep him out of the lineup. They're going to need that left. Well, that's back. interesting. I mean, you could. So, essentially, he would, he would be the, he'd be the pitcher and the DA. He won him three days a week. Yeah. You know, this schedule right now, maybe two days a week because he won a day before and a day after he pitches. So, I hope he, pitch, I hope he hits the day that he pitches. That's interesting. I wonder if they'll do that. Frank, that's not a good point. That is a great point. And Mike Sosha, who's a National League guy coming from the <laughs> Dodgers, he loves to have the extra player. That adds another player for, for Mike Sosha to play with. That's a great advantage. <laughs> All I know is he's pitching on Sunday. I mean, might want to take him right down, uh, right down <laughs> Anaheim, uh, fellas. Uh, watch what he can do. What a week, though, for Otani. Big win for the Angels. It's, Alex, it feels like he's gone to another level already. And, and I know he had some help from a very interesting choice in the offseason, didn't he? Yeah, this 24-year-old Dominican, he looked up to Pedro Martinez. He seeked him out for help. And Pedro said two things very simple. One is simplify your mechanics. And number two, work on your deception. And we're going to show you right here in the film where in 2015 his hands went away from his buckle and he showed a lot of exposure. And this created a really long windmill to get the ball. You can see a hanging slider there, home run Bautista. Right here you see a much tighter, this is post Pedro Martinez instruction, much tighter, much better and obviously a much better result. You'll see it here side by side. On the right, on the left, you see a much, much wider kind of with a glove extended. And here, you see a much tighter. It never leaves his belt buckle, and it's nice and hidden, very tight, and a much different result here on the right. All right, so I can see the difference, but um, what does that mean? Can you take us through exactly what it looks like and what that means for him? So basically, what he was doing before is he was right here and he was just showing a lot, of, a lot of white to the ball and very slow to the plate. What he's doing right now is Pedro said, why don't you work on the deception? And that means hide it nice and tight, and you never see it till you see it at the end. And those mechanics is why he may be the Cy Young this year. 
So as a hitter, you know, uh, give me an idea. Okay, so you're, you're saying you're seeing the ball. I'm seeing it for a split second. Can you really see pitches in that time, what he's going to throw? Yeah, and Frank can vouch here. So if folks at home, if you're the hitter, this is what you're seeing in 2015 with Severino, which is right here. He shows it to you. Now, if you see a lot of white, that's a fastball right there. Now, if you see this, there's a different look. That's a changeup. As a hitter, you're able to see this. What Pedro did, he said, you don't get any free looks. You don't see this, you don't see it, and now you see it, and it's too mm. late. And that's the difference of going from good to great. That's a tremendous pickup, Alex, because I'm telling you as a hitter, with that type of deception, with the guy throwing 100 miles an hour, with a slider like his at 90, watch out. It could be a long year, and you're right. He could win the Cy Young this year. So even just that little split second of the ball, that's enough for you, Frank. Yes. It's I mean, he's got an extra three feet after hiding the ball like this with a 100-mile-per-hour fastball. The, Amazing. The other thing, so you go to work with Pedro Martinez, who's one of the greatest, one of the smartest of all time. Didn't you also say that Pedro gave him a, a little mirror exercise, too? Yeah, that's exactly right. So Luis Severino in Dominican Republic gets a mirror right next to his bed at home, and every night, instead of trying to break this habit extended, he literally went with the instruction of Pedro Martinez and looked at himself every night and did this. And from the side, it's just like this. Wow. He wanted to hide it right here in his back pocket. This is where he was, and this is where he is. You don't see anything. And if you're a hitter at home, boy, it's much tougher when you don't see the ball. You know, you're employed by the Yankees now. Aren't they upset that Pedro Martinez is like the Boston should be upset that Pedro Martinez is helping out, right? Well, I think they're both Dominican, and, and <laughs> the fact that Pedro helps so many people, but to Luis Severino's credit, he took that instruction, ran with it, and he may run all the way to a championship and a Cy Young, Kevin. Frankie, we could do a whole pool season with Alex and Big Poppy sitting next to each other. Hal Steinbrenner, give this man a raise. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Pedro will help out the Yankees. Watch out. Oh, man, that is good stuff. All right, great job, Alex. I love that. That is learned something today.